Welcome to the most exciting presentation that you'll be listening to today. We'll be looking at succeeding or failing with cloud computing. And as the subtitle already shows, it's not about when you will use cloud technology, because you will, but about how quickly you can get your organization or yourself to embrace cloud and to adopt it. Everyone's interested to hear how to become successful in utilizing cloud computing. So let's get started. But before we do, I want to mention that cloud technology is more disruptive than you can imagine. Cloud technology can change business models. It can make it more successful and more agile to jump in new businesses. At the same time, it's a technology that is very disruptive as it can potentially turn a small organization you have never knew existed into your biggest competitor. The time to start utilizing it is now. The good thing is that we have a survival guide. So stick with me for the next 15 minutes and you'll know how and where to get started. The problem. Well, what is the problem? And pro the problem is that cloud can make you a winner or a loser. And it might even be more serious than you think because winning or losing will not happen in a decade, but it will happen in one to three years. So how disruptive can the cloud get? Well, think about Blockbuster. Had they embraced cloud solutions, they might have win been winning the online battle with Netflix. Or what, ab or what about Kodak? They filed bankruptcy earlier this year after basically not being successful in utilizing the technology of digital cameras, which they invented but did not want to use because it would basically cannibalize their existing business model. Um, and as a result of not using or changing the business model, they are now out of business and only the Kodak moment remains. So cloud will determine whether you will win or lose. In addition, um, cloud touches every aspect of your business, whether it's sales, finance, product development, there's a impact on everything. The, the interesting part is if we're looking at roles within your organization, we can see that they, they will all change. So whether it's software tester, an auditor, service manager, all the roles will change. Not only IT roles change, but also business roles. So for example, if we look at the marketing people, the HR department, finance department, they all will have to deal with an impact of cloud computing. Add to this that the rate of change will accelerate. New business models are being created. Technology makes it possible to do things that were not possible before. If you map this to that disruptive nature of cloud, you will arrive at only one conclusion. Act now, start developing the competencies among the most important resources, your colleagues, team members, and staff. How deep is the expected change? Well, Forbes clearly states that it is a fundamental change in the nature of jobs across the organization. You might be thinking, well, how fast are things changing? Well, looking at the following job statistics, we can clearly see that it has already started and the growth rate is increasing. If you currently still think cloud is a hype, then you're seriously missing the boat. In the last two years, we have already seen a 275% increase in job ads for people with cloud solutions. This solution, well, what is this solution? I believe part of the solution, at least a, a big part of it, is that successful companies adapt. We, earlier we spoke about Kodak here uh, on the slide, but adaptation is key to success, especially in the cloud era, which always makes me think about a poster we created, which had a dodo display with the text below saying, Adaptation? Why? I'll be fine. We obviously know what happened to the dodo. Some more statistics. Um, the next critical thing towards success is the, to change roles and enable people to perform in these roles. 
And IDG recently um, did a, uh, an analysis of a, a, a research report uh, among CIOs, and 67% of them said that the IT function had to change and adapt to manage the cloud. So my question to you would be, are you adapting to this new situation yet? Successful companies also develop the right competencies. And it always reminds me of a Swiss army knife that you bring when you go camping. Because it always seems to have the right tool that you need. Whether it's the knife, uh, the bottle opener, or even the tweezers. And with companies it's the same thing. So you need to develop the right competencies, but also do it at the right level. So for example, here we have a junior architect but you might also have a senior architect in your team as well as a lead architect and they all need competencies but not at the same level so ensure that you have training or develop competencies for specific levels within a job role also make sure that you develop them at the right time if you're just getting your core team ready to identify or create a cloud strategy you don't need your junior architect uh, in to have the cloud competencies yet but your lead architect does so develop the right competencies at the right time the same as with the Swiss Army knife uh, if you buy a cheap one um, you might not be having the right credibility so make sure that the programs that your people are using do have the right credibility um, ensure that they're not just doing a like attending a webinar or reading some white papers but give them education or cert certificates um, that are credible. The plan. The plan is pretty simple and that's you have to bridge the competency gap between what you have now and what you will need in the future. And that gap depends on your ambition level. Are you very ambitious and you want to have the best people in your team to leverage the cloud as best as you can? Or do you just want to follow the cloud developments and adapt slowly? And that depends. Uh, that will basically influence the competency gap that you will have. So doing it well means that you measure the gaps on each role within your organization. And so create kind of an assessment and understand which roles are most critical to address first. So address those critical competency gaps. And then educate up to the right level. So ensure that people have just the right competencies to fulfill the job. And educate up to the right level means no more, no less, but just right. And to do so, there's a couple things you can do. What we would advise is leverage existing learning tracks. So for example, uh, leverage cloud essentials training, virtualization essentials training, after that, you could start with Cloud Architecture Fundamentals training, followed by an advanced course, and then even you could include vendor-specific training from, for example, VMware or Cisco to reach the end goal of becoming a fully Cloud Architect expert. And here are some of the, some of the topics that are discussed in the Fundamentals course, like industry reference models, Cloud deployment models, um, if we look at the more advanced course, then we'll talk about shared versus dedicated cloud environments, how to evaluate vendor capabilities, etc. And don't forget the vendor specific training. So again, as mentioned, uh, the VMware certified design expert or Cisco CCA. And remember that all these tracks are available, uh, made available through the Cloud, cloud Credential Council and ITpreneurs is supporting one of the working groups for uh, some of its cloud tracks. These are some of the organizations that have provided inputs in the curriculum uh, and the learning tracks that the Cloud Credential Council provides. And again, um, we strongly believe that uh, supporting the Cloud Credential in its mission to support cloud adoption is something that, that, that you as an organization need to look into. So getting started, so how do you get started? And I think just with any plan, um, if you want to execute it, you need to get started. So let's have a look. Identify um, basically which projects you need to undertake. Uh, I don't think there's a big brand approach to cloud computing. We see most organizations using a phased approach. 
And with every cloud initiative, whether it's the cloud pilot project, like you see here, or hosting the email in the cloud, um, your people are involved and will need to support the new strategy or technology. And training is needed to develop the skills and competencies to enable that change. To select the right solution, to identify and address the risks exposure, the, to understand the new financial models, etc. Ensuring people are trained also helps with removing fear, uncertainty and doubt about the new solution or environment. But don't get me started about intangible benefits because uh, I have a whole long list ahead of me. Also remember to train at the audiences at the right time. So remember that if you're just starting off with your core team, maybe your financial managers don't have to follow with the cloud course yet. But um, ensure that, um, that when the time is there, that you have the right people with the right competencies. So again, core team, uh, security specialists and developers need to be involved, but also HR, marketing and sales. This is just an example of the people that are involved uh, in time. Um, but in your organization, obviously, the, uh, the order in which people are trained might, might be different. So if you have the right competencies, then you can actually rely on your people to fulfill their new role. Look at the finance manager here on the left. Um, he or she would need to understand the tax implications of cloud, the shift to on-demand accounting models, and also the ROI that is different for cloud. IT operations manager also sees a change. For example, he needs to understand application management in the cloud or how to actually provision from the cloud. Metering, billing, subscription management, that all changes as well. So ensure that when the time comes that you, your organization and your people have the right competencies to succeed. So how do you make your people successful? And um, let's start with utilizing the IT Preneurs, what we call multis. So multilingual, we offer our courses in various languages to su support global and regional rollouts. We also provide multiple levels, from foundation level, practitioner, to advanced and experts, to ensure that your different roles within your organizations and different levels, uh, the day that we have the right training tracks for them. We also have multiple locations worldwide so that we can support these global rollouts on a regional level. And then we can obviously uh, provide multiple delivery media such as e-learning, classroom, virtual classroom, or even business simulations to tailor to the way that people learn best and that, different, and that differs per person. Here's one of our clients that has uh, used the ITpreneurs Maltese. Uh, ING wanted to uh, utilize cloud computing and transform the IT department and has used the ITpreneurs uh, portfolio to actually transform the organization and to ensure people are happily working in the new environment. Um, we've trained about 1500 people within ING and we're very proud to have contributed to ING's success. Just providing training is not uh, the only thing we do. For ING, for example, um, we realize that cloud adoption is also change management. And as with any disruptive message or technology introduction, you need the organization to support that change. So for example, for ING, we developed uh, video messages um, from the CTO that went to all the employees. We developed an information bag with cloud-related items. Uh, books were printed and uh, provided to the people that discussed the impact of cloud. I even went so far to uh, um, that we planned for reverse graffiti at the parking lots. And if you're not familiar with reverse graffiti, I would hard, uh, highly encourage you to have a look on Google uh, and be overwhelmed with some very interesting pictures. So here are some of the ITpreneurs clients that are currently working um, with the cloud portfolio. And uh, obviously, we, we would be delighted if you as an individual or as an organization could be added to this list. So my advice is start today. I mean, the time to act is now. And starting to create the cloud competencies that you need is something that needs to happen today. So please remember the four key takeaways that we've covered in these 15 minutes. 
One is the problem, and that's the disruptive nature of cloud technology. Second is the solution, and that's developing the cloud competencies that you can rely on and that you need. Third is the plan. Planning the competency development journey so you can actually get started. And getting started is the last point, and that means that understand which components do you need and do you need to leverage to execute your plan. Thank you for listening. Uh, please contact us if you have any further questions and have a great day.